It was raw, you know. I mean, people well, what were. Is, what does that mean? Well, it was um, people were learning about farming. Uh, who knew in the in the wine, global wine world, or even in the U.S., where Oregon was even at? And so, in back in those days, you you couldn't give away a bottle of Pinot Noir in California. They're like, Oregon makes wine, and so it was for everybody. It was. Um, we used to have on the Oregon Wine Advisory Board, um, we'd go and we'd do these uh, dog and pony shows, and all the wine winemakers would get together and we'd pour for the public, like in San Francisco, and try and do educational things to um, get people familiar with the fact that we uh, we existed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could show them on the map. Right? Yeah, uh, yeah. We did all this PR, all this material that we could give to people, and um, it was a struggle. It was a real struggle. struggle it was in even a way. Well, uh, just selling the wine. You know, uh, people. It it just wasn't easy as easy as it is now. That's for sure. I mean, we had to educate people on who we were, and people were always kind of cautious about it. Um, restaurateurs and wine retailers, because they have to make the sell, but who's heard of it? Yeah. And so, and and so that's more work for them. If you understand what I'm saying, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it was it was it was challenging. It was challenging to sell the wine.